World Edit is an essential tool for any Minecraft builder, but it can be really hard to learn how to use it. So in today's video, I am going to be showing you how you can use World Edit in Minecraft 1.18.2. Alright, ready? Let's jump right in. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and download and install World Edit for Minecraft 1.18.2. Now I made a video a little over a month ago that will show you exactly how you can download and install World Edit for Minecraft 1.18.2. And I'll put a link to this video in the description so that you can watch this video if you don't already have World Edit installed. Once you download and install World Edit, you want to go ahead and log into Minecraft. And you need to make sure that you have cheats enabled in your Minecraft world in order for World Edit to work. So to see if you have cheats enabled, just go ahead and click on single player, create new world, and you want to make sure that you have allowed cheats on. Now, if you set your game mode to creative, it's going to automatically allow cheats on, and then you can just create a new world. Now, if you want to use World Edit in an existing world, there's a very simple way to see if you have cheats enabled in your world. Whenever you're in an existing world, you can actually use commands with cheats, as long as you have cheats turn it on in your world. So to enter into Minecraft command, just go ahead and hit the slash button, and then just type in anything. So I'm going to type in game rule, do daylight cycle, false, and hit enter. And as you can see, a chat message pops up that says game rule, do daylight cycle, it sounds like the false, and the command works. If you type in slash, and you start to type in letters and nothing pops up, then you don't have cheats enabled in your world. And it's very important to have cheats enabled in your world and to download World Edit because if you don't have World Edit downloaded or you don't have cheats in your world, then the rest of the things I'm going to show you in this tutorial just aren't going to work. So I've got a lot of comments that say World Edit um, isn't working for me in my previous World Edit tutorial videos. So just go ahead and double check and make sure that you have those two things installed and turned on before you um, say that World Edit isn't working. So anyways, with that covered, it's now time to begin actually learning how to use World Edit. Now the first thing you want to do is you want to get yourself a World Edit wand, which is the exact same thing as this wooden axe that I am holding in my hand right here. So to do that, you just want to go ahead and type in slash slash wand and hit enter and boom, we now have a wooden axe in our inventory that we can use. And a chat message will pop up that says we can select different positions with this wooden axe. So this wooden axe is your wand and it will let you um, create anything with World Edit. So now that we have our wand, it's time to begin learning the basic World Edit command. The first World Edit command we're going to learn how to use is the set command. So to do that, you want to left click on one block and you want to right click on another block. And you want to type in the command slash slash set and then hit space. And from here, you can choose any Minecraft block to set it as. So we can set it as stone. And as you can see, we now have stone. We can set it as an oak plank. And as you can see, we have an oak plank. We can set it as a spruce plank. And it will set it as a spruce plank. We can set it as water. And the whole area will now turn into water. And we can even set it into grass blocks again in order to turn it back into a grass block, just like that. Now you can do this with different size blocks as well. So if you want to make a three-dimensional um, figure with the set command, you can just left click one block and then we'll just build up a few blocks here and right click. And then do set stone. And as you can see, we now have an entire rectangle that is set in stone. And so you can do this with two dimensions or three dimensions, just depending on what you want to set in your Minecraft world. Now, as you can see, this is already making a huge difference because we can place a ton of blocks instantly. And this is only the first command that we've learned. Now, one common thing that people that use Word Edit do is they make mistakes. And I've been using Word Edit for like two years now, and even I make a lot of mistakes with it. Now, luckily, Word Edit has a command that allows us to undo any recent action that we, that we make. So if we type in slash slash undo and hit enter, it'll go ahead and undo our previous action and remove that big stone rectangle. Now, if you notice, these three blocks are still here because I manually placed these blocks. 
So the world edit function will undo blocks that you set with world edit, but it won't undo any manual blocks, which is extremely useful, especially if you make a large mistake that removes a lot of terrain, then it will undo the th blocks or a change of world edit, but it will leave the terrain here. So like, just for example, we'll just make a huge area and we'll set it as stone. And as you can see, we now have this big thing here, but if we click on where it says undo, it'll go ahead and undo that and our whole grass landscape is still there. So with that under control, we now have the set command and the undo command and walls command. The walls command is another very simple command and it just allows you to make a rectangular wall around two certain blocks. So if we place a stone block here and we place a stone block here, we can left click with one, right click on the other block, and then we can do slash slash walls. There we go. Hit space and you want to type in any Minecraft block. So we will just choose grass block and hit enter and boom we now have an entire wall of grass blocks now of course you can make this wall as tall as you want so we can change the height so we'll just stack this up left click and right click and then do walls and i still can't type there we go we'll just make a grass block and hit enter and as you can see our wall is now several blocks taller so you can use um the walls command to make as many walls as you would like and of course the undo command will allow you to undo any actions that you've already made so that is pretty much all you need to do in order to use the walls command so the, the next command that we're going to learn is the copy command so right here i have this lovely block of red concrete that i want to copy and paste from one area of my world to another so this is my block right here so i'm going to left click on it and then right click on it to set my positions and whenever you want to copy something, you want to pick a spot where you are confident that it is going to go. So like if you stand right in front of it and copy it, whenever we go to paste it, it'll paste the block right in front of us. And you'll get to see what I mean here in a minute. So just go ahead and stand on a recognizable block and do slash slash copy and hit enter. And as you can see, it'll say how many blocks are affected, how many biomes are affected, and how many entities are affected. And um, that is all great. But now what we want to do is we want to go to a different location, like maybe up here on this hill, and we want to paste it. So we're just going to step on a random block and hit slash slash paste. And as you can see, our block is pasted right in front of us like that. Now, the most important thing to remember when you're copying and pasting something is to copy it in a position where you know where it's going to end up when you paste it. So like if I copy it and paste this block and I fly way over here and I copy it, then when I go to paste it, I'm not really sure where it's going to go. Like if I do paste, then it's like underneath the ground. Or if I paste it way up here, then it's like way down there. So we really don't know where it is if we don't pick a good location to copy it from. That's why in my first example, I copied it from one block right in front of it. And then when I pasted it, it pasted one block right in front of where I was standing. So that is pretty cool how you can pretty much copy and paste different objects. The next command that we're going to learn is the rotate command. So to rotate something, you want to just select the positions of it, just like we did before. And now that we have our um, lovely building here selected, we are going to copy it, rotate it, and paste it. So once again, whenever you copy something, you want to stand in a recognizable position. So I'll just stand right here in front of it and do a slash slash copy and hit enter. And now we're going to pick a place to rotate it. So I want to rotate it 270 degrees and paste it so it's facing that way. So to do that, I'm going to rotate, so slash, slash, and then type out the word rotate. And then space 270 and hit enter. And now it'll go ahead and say that the clipboard copy has been rotated. So now I'll turn my Minecraft character 270 degrees. And I'll fly over here. And I will do slash, slash, paste. And boom, as you can see, our building is pasted. Now you can rotate buildings in um, the 
different cardinal directions. So you can rotate it 90 degrees, you can rotate it 180 degrees, and you can also rotate it 270 degrees. So if we wanted to rotate it 90 degrees, which would be facing that way, we would do copy and then slash slash rotate space 90 and hit enter and fly over here and we will paste it just over here slash slash paste hit enter and boom our building is rotated 90 degrees we can do the exact same thing by rotating 180 degrees and so i'll go ahead and show you that so just copy rotate and this time we're going to do space 180 hit enter and it'll say the clipboard copy has been rotated we're going to turn around facing the opposite direction paste it and boom there we go our building is pasted in 90 180 and 270 degrees so that is pretty much all that you need to do with the rotate command so this text command is really awesome i really like it it's called the replace command so for the replace command we are going to replace this entire grass block area with coarse dirt so what we're going to do is we're going to select a position so we're going to start here and we'll just go out to here so we have our two positions selected by left clicking and right clicking on the blocks and now we're going to do slash slash replace and then we're going to click space and right now we're going to replace all of the grass blocks so we're going to type in grass block and then we're going to hit space and now we want to replace the grass block with coarse dirt. So we're going to type in coarse dirt and hit enter. And boom, as you can see, all of those grass blocks are replaced with coarse dirt in the area that we selected. Now you can do this with anything and you can replace it. So we can replace the coarse dirt with diamond blocks. And boom, as you can see, we have some diamonds right there. And you can pretty much use the replace command anywhere. So the next command that we're going to learn how to use is the move command. So the move command will allow us to move an entire structure um, left, right, up, or down. So we have our diamond blocks right here. So we're going to go ahead and select this position to get our whole area of diamond blocks selected. And we want to move this entire um, rectangle here of diamond blocks two blocks to the right. So to do that, we're going to do slash slash and we're going to type move and then we're going to hit space. And since we want to move it two blocks to the right, we're going to click on where it says two and then we're going to do a space and we're going to click on R and hit enter. And boom, our entire diamond block section is moved two blocks to the right. Now we have this big open space right here that we really don't like and I realized that um, I made a mistake, so I'm just going to do undo, and there we go. And the final command that we're going to learn today is the redo command. So if you want to redo something, like if you undo that, so like we just undid the move command that we did, we are going to redo, so we're going to slash slash redo, and hit enter, and as you can see, that command is done and that's pretty much all that the redo command does is it will redo any command that we've uh that we like undid so undo and redo work very well together and so i hope that you enjoyed this tutorial on how to use world edit in minecraft 1.18.2 thank you for watching and have a great day